Hello friends, myself is Danish Azam and you are watching my YouTube channel Danish Let's Learn. Friends, as you know that our Earth came into existence about 4.5 billion years ago, but life on the Earth emerged only 2 billion years ago. The question arises that why did life become so late to grow on the Earth? Scientists say that water, air and soil are fundamental components of life and it is the basic thing to support life on the Earth. All of us know it very well, but neither of those three components were available on the earth at the time of its formation. And the most important thing was, it uh, was uh, water. You must have been thinking that where then did water come from? Because the rain that we see today is an outcome of those water bodies found on the earth in the form of oceans and seas. Water evaporates due to increasing temperature then condenses resulting precipitation in the form of rain but remember that age of the earth when there was nothing but rock and rock on the earth as you know that the surface of the earth is called lithosphere today litho means rock and sphere means area as scientists say that in the beginning earth was composed of only boulder of rock so how it was possible to rain did those boulder of rocks get evaporated if yes then that rain must be of rock and dust particle i will try my best to answer all these questions in this video and also i will try my best to quote those verses of holy quran that deal with formation of water on the earth Allah says in Holy Quran, We sent down blessed water from the sky and made gardens grow by it and grain for harvesting. Surah Qaf verse number 9. You know very well that uh, our solar system came into existence out of clouds of dust and gas when they happened to collide with each other. This event and happening is widely known as uh, Big Bang today. Scientists uh, maintain to say that atom of hydrogen and oxygen started to grow and proliferate in those clouds of dust and gas. You know very well and I don't think that I should utter any word about it that water is formed out of two hydrogen and one oxygen molecule. That's why it has been termed as H2O. Gradually molecules of hydrogen and oxygen began to attract each other due to magnetism and at last they mingled with each other forming water in space. Even before our solar system was formed, since there was no source of heat in the space, that's why those water bodies turned into great rocks of ice and kept moving in the sky. After formation of solar system, those rocks of ice came into each other, uh, which uh, came into touch with each other due to gravity and collided with each other to splash great quantity of ice towards Earth that melted away due to rising temperature and formed large water bodies around the globe. NASA had published image of Sirius and Vesta in 2007. Scientists have found evidence of water on these uh, two celestial bodies and they are also of the opinion that the water found on the Earth might come from these celestial bodies. Even today there are few celestial bodies that have large amounts of water in the form of ice like uh, moon of Jap Jupiter, Europa, moon of Saturn, Enceladus, Moon of Neptune, Triton, Dwarf Planet, Pluto and many comets that uh, has been called in Hindi language Dhumketu have uh, water bodies in the form of ice. Few minutes later I have mentioned the name of Cirrus in Roman mythology. Cirrus is considered as god of rain. It shows that even Roman believed that it uh, was uh, water had come on the earth from heaven or sky. Friends we have to be much obliged to our Allah who gave us uh, much detail about formation of rain in those age when human was leading life of savage and darkness. It claims that Holy Quran is a book of Allah. May Allah guide us right path and bless us with divine knowledge. Thank you. Have a nice day. Please like and subscribe my channel.